Capricorn, what's going on, my dears? It is me, it is Shira, it is Vera, it is Scorpion Reds Tarot. I am back at it again one time for the one time to let you guys know for sure what is going on for April 2020. Show me the money season, yes, ma'am. All right, shout out to all my newbies, shout out to all my OGs, shout out to everybody who has clicked, liked, shared, or subscribed to this video or any one of my videos thank you guys so much for the love and support i'm taking it back to the old school a little bit i got about eight decks on my table right now i got four to the right four to the left um i want to give a big shout out to a whole bunch of you guys for the love and the support that you guys have been sending to my channel you guys because I got some new decks I have the star C Oracle deck which I believe this is a new deck that just came out thank you guys so much for all of the love and you know the support that you guys sent with this and this is the circle of life tarot deck and I just realized that this deck just went out of print so if you don't have this deck I don't even know if they're going to be making anymore so I am so glad to have been one of the lucky people that got one of these decks before they just like so out so thank you guys so much I'm so grateful for having this deck to give you guys um, you know guidance with so thank you guys so much if there's anyone who would like to support the page if any of these videos give you any type of insight and encouragement to move forward towards your transformation to make your life better and um, help you see your truth um, if you want to book a personal private reading or like I said send some type of love and support you can connect with me on my about tab that has all of my um, booking information you can connect with me on Instagram if you don't have Instagram you can use my email which is scorpionreds at gmail.com and you can reach out to me on Google Hangouts which is the e easy app to download the only thing we need is our um emails to connect with each other so if you guys would like to re reach out to me and of course you can use that email as well if um, you don't feel comfortable leaving a message down in the comment section in the public if you want to you know connect with me privately to talk to me and, and let me know how the video resonated with you you can always reach out to me on Instagram um, in the messages or on um, the email so let's Express some love and light. Let's give some acknowledgement, number one, to Father God, to the Creator, uh, for bringing us here today, for waking us up every day, giving us peaceful blessings, and just like, you know, determination to keep ourselves moving and, you know, being with our feet on the pavement. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? In the direction that we're supposed to be walking and just constantly just reaching and teaching and just growing and just showing up um just ready and eager every day so we just want to give acknowledgement so father god thank you so much for uh blessing us thank you so much for allowing us to rest during this time thank you so much for allowing us the time to connect with our families and heal heal our bodies and heal our minds and you know just kind of cater to our own needs at this time um Father God, we uh, ask you for clarity. We ask you for forgiveness. We ask you for safekeeping. We ask you for um, perfect health. We ask you for stronger bonds. Um, we ask you for, you know, just deepened strength and just everything we need during this time. Please give us um, our daily bread and our nourishment. Um, to keep us focused every day to be the best that we can be every day. Father God, give us guidance for the sign of Capricorn. Tell us what's going on with my Capricorns. Thank you so much for everything that you've given us in the past. Thank you so much for where we presently stand. And thank you so much for the blessings that we have yet to reach in the future, Father God. Um, we just appreciate you. And thank you for appreciating us and our growth. Amen. Amen. Let's go. All right. So, let's get into the archetypes. Let's get into this one. Capricorn, let's see what's going on. My dears. Let's see what's going on. Let's see what's going on. Okay. Alright, so let's see. What's going on with my Capricorns for April? Ooh! What's going 
going on with my Capricorns in April. Okay. This is the Bardo. I haven't seen this card yet before. And then this is Althea. So this means the truth. And then this is the father. And then even when the father is like a balance of like, you know, the light versus the, the, the shadow over here. It's like, you know, either the truth or the untruth. You know what I'm saying? It's, 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 it's either one or the other. It's, it's no middle. You know what I'm saying? It's like either you are present and active in that father role and everything is thriving and everything's growing or there's, you know, everything is dried up to hay. <laughs> Desertous, you know what I'm saying? So, the Bardo. The Bardo. What am I getting with this, man? Why well, I'm getting like, um, it's like, a, well, I feel like someone got like a, a nice, a very, very nice car or something. Like, you got like some nice wheels or like uh, um, rims or something like on your car or whatever. I feel like it's very, very particular to you and your thing this bardo i don't know why i feel like somebody is just like what is this at the bottom the shadow is at the bottom of the deck i was about to say that <laughs> like, it's like someone i'm getting like a like a drug dealer or a hustler or something like that like someone that is just like a i'm getting like a criminal mastermind or <laughs> something like <laughs> like if you was to use those particular skills in a professional way like you could be like um a lawyer or you could be um what like a banker or uh invest you know like one of people the investors like you could be like a real cool and hip investor if you was to learn how to do investments and trades and stuff in a legal way but it's just for some reason, like, this person seems to just thrive in, like, the shadow realm where it's, like, you know, like a crime boss or something like that. I don't know what I'm saying. But it's something about, um, there being, like, a fine line, like, a, a level of truth and balance in regards to, like, this person's shadow life versus this person's light attribute you know what I'm saying like there has to be some type of balance and you see how it's like the darkness is over here and the light is over here but even in the light it's you can still see some some little stuff in the dark you know it's like it has to be balanced you have to use that kind of like criminal mind and criminal intellect in a different way like if you could just switch it up a little bit it would save you a lot of trouble it would save you from a lot of harm and it's like there has come to a point with this person where it's like a line has had to has to be drawn in regards to y'all's outside activities versus y'all actually being a father because I know Capricorn men, a lot of them are very, very good father. Like they love their children. Like family is very, very important to them. Like they love their children very, very much. So it's like you gotta kinda be careful of like what you're teaching them, honestly. Like what type of man are they seeing their father be because your daughters are going to attract the same, you know what I'm saying? And the boys are going to want to be rough and tough like their dad. So I feel like there's someone that is finally kind of like growing up and finally seeing the truth. And maybe you really didn't have a father, you know what I'm saying? To really teach you and kind of guide you. But because of that, that's why you are so present in your children's life. But it's just this. It's like you kind of have to trying to find some balance with that a little bit let me see what that means because i haven't even got that card yet honey okay let's just see. it says the liminal in between the transition it is said that the bottle is a place in between this life and the next the liminal realm through which souls pass, envisioning the inherent, the inherently mysterious space 
that creates the potential for us to rise above the concerns of this world and see our relationships through a cosmic timeless lens. We may receive messages from those who are no longer with us to see visions of lives that are just to be lived. The bottle is a potential to forgive the unforgivable, to say the unsaid, um, to see the unseen. To love the unloved, to let go of all of the things that's caused us pain. The bottle spins us in a spaciousness for just long enough to open us up to a higher wisdom. It is energy that does not belong to Earth as we know it, but rather to a cosmic network, which we are a single thread. When enlightened means spaciousness, great. Um, forgiveness, truth. Okay, that's what that means. When in dark, it means torment. Desolations, hallucinations, <laughs> trans transcendence. I don't know what the hell that means. But what I'm getting here is like literally like it's saying like it's saying spaciousness, grace, forgiveness, truth. It is, it says, it says, Lobato is not to be feared. Take advantage of its energy by recognizing what needs to be resolved. Trust that there's a message from you from beyond. Who is speaking? Go ahead and listen. It says, when the veil between life and the next is thin, energy is stirred. This allows for a remarkable healing and vision. So... That might rain very, very true. Maybe there is like someone that's passed over. And it could be a father. It's saying a father. Very much so. Very much so. It's something about someone really trying to like transcend and kind of get over that. Um, being a bad influence to my kids. You know what I'm saying? It's like really being truthful and it's like, yeah, I do shine in that realm. You know what I'm saying? Where I'm hustling, doing this, like kind of the street life type of thing. But at the same time, if you would just take that energy and try to kind of make peace with why you were in that lifestyle and bring it over to the light and really try to manifest in greatness that way I really do feel like you will you know rise above everything and you could be very 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 successful if you just like kind of give it a try a little bit um let's see let's see hmm The Seven of Wands, a conflict, a battle, conversations, opinions, the Page of Wands, thoughts of new beginnings and actually taking action towards it, actually receiving messages that are like, like green lighting you, letting you know that, <laughs> listen, Empress, expectancy, royalty, luxury see that's somebody that was very very patient it's like no matter what these people say I remain patient I remain loyal I try to pay respect to people that pay respect to me and it's something that it's like I pay respects so if I'm coming at you then that means like at some point in time, someone was being disloyal. or It's something about Capricorns and people being trustworthy and honorable. You know, it's like, as long as you don't lie to me or give me no reason not to trust you, me and you not going to have any problems. But you don't ever want to be on, a, on, a, on the other side of this stick because it's something about a Capricorn's energy. It don't matter how many people coming at them at one time, they will still fight you. You know what I'm saying? Like, they're not going to back down at all. It's like, I don't care what none of y'all say. It's like, don't none of y'all scare me for real. 
You know what I'm saying? Like I know how to have my own back. I don't need nobody that I don't need no squad. Like I'm a I'm a I'm a army on my own. You know what I'm saying? It's something it's something like that. And it's about standing up for the truth because if I feel like somebody is lying to me, then I'm going to defend myself. Something about the truth. What is this? The King of Pentacles in the reverse. So the King of Pentacles in the reverse is like people could be lying about them and like trying to castrate them in the public saying that they're not a good father. And it's like tell them the truth. You know regardless something about like regardless of how I get my money. Do you understand what I'm saying? Like I still am providing. I'm still giving. You know what I'm saying? Something about lies like the seven of wands can mean like gossip, like, you know, people saying stuff with the intention to spread malice or something like that. And I feel like someone is battling rumors of them not being a father. Like not spending any time. Like you might send some little bit of money, but you don't spend no time. You know what I'm saying? And that's not the truth. Or this is what this person is saying. That they don't feel like it's the truth. You know what I'm saying? So this page of wands and the empress. Um, someone is like communicating. And having thoughts of a new direction. Something that make them feel better. Something that will make them feel royal. Something that. The Empress is someone and she wears very beautiful clothes. She wears very high fashion, has very good taste. She has a very comfortable home environment. She has her kids around or she's in a loving place in her life in regards to finances and romances where, you know, she could possibly be expecting another child because everything is going good, you know. So there could be a situation where someone is communicating with an empress you know what I'm saying someone that you know that there could be some expectancies there where I could this this is someone who could possibly be the mother of my children or I could see like living a comfortable life or this is you being the empress you know what I'm saying making steps towards a new direction because the wands represents new steps pages is completely new so this is something completely new this is something old so this is something completely 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 new okay and then you got the father and then you have the empress so there could be a situation most definitely where the father could have taken on interest with a new wife or something like that it's like There's a lot of accusations here. There's a lot of accusations. And it could be someone is having to deal with a lot of frustrating communication. Because maybe this King of Pentacles is no longer with them in their home. They might be going in a new direction with the new woman or something like that. The moon. Lord Jesus, I ain't never see the moon look like that. My gracious. So the moon represents like someone sleeping, someone resting, someone taking their time, someone healing, someone like rejuvenating their energy a little bit, you know, um, in a peaceful state, in a dream state. And there go these two women. So there could be someone that they're going through cycles with at this current time. You know what I'm saying? And there's a lot of fuss between two women in particular. You know what I'm saying? Where they're trying to get this person's attention. Trying to get them to wake up. Trying to get them to listen to whatever their demands is. Whatever their threats are. Whatever their fears. You see this darkness in the water Typically, it's like a, a crab or something. It's like whatever these women are saying to this 
resting person it's like trying to initiate fear or fright or it's like trying to expose something or to tell it's it's like threats it's some type of threats or something like that what is this the judgment in the reverse it can have something to do with a court case it can have something to do with no longer allowing something to pass by without there being any consequences and it could be two of them at the same time I don't know if this is someone having some frustrations with their children's mothers or something like that or just two different situations two different individuals where you're feeling like you're getting the short end of the stick and you're feeling like you're defending yourself against lies you know what I'm saying and it's like the truth you want the truth you want the truth the father is saying a lot of this drama is because I took a new stance with a new empress. Child. What is the Knight of Swords? I told you. <laughs> it's like, no. Like, I'm, it's like, it, this person is like, Standing up for the righteousness of justice. It's like you're not going to lie on me. Like you're going to tell the truth. Like tell them that y'all came to my house. And y'all started all of this drama. And you won't leave me and her alone. It's, it's something like that. It's like. I'm not just going to allow. Like an unfair judgment. It's like I want I want the truth to be exposed. Like, you know, this is like arguments. This is like it's like someone wants the truth. The eight of wands. So the eight of wands in the reverse, that's like someone could be trying to ride up on someone to want to speak to them to like to, to get someone to like confess the truth after like an unfair judgment or something like that and it's like y'all went in there and lied or something something tell the truth but it's like there's blocked communication like you're not able to access you're not able to reach like you won't like this could be a restraining order or something like that and like someone might be it's like no longer having access, like having to go back that way. You know what I'm saying? Lord Jesus. What is this about, y'all? Tell me about the Father, the Page of Wands, and the Empress. Because that's what this is about right here. What is going on with this five of the page of wands and the empress? The ten of wands. So, like this person, like, released a burden. And it's like they went a new direction. I, I feel... I feel like, and I don't want to like make it about sex, but it's something about maybe, <laughs> I don't really want to make it about sex. I feel like some people are angry because there's some new woman there where this father has released a burden with everyone else where they're having to play all these multiple positions with all of these different people. And I feel like this person is like actually truly focused on one woman. And I feel like there's two women that are upset. I feel like there's two women that are upset. I'm really getting a lot of masculine energy. I mean, it says the Father. Give me guidance about the Seven of Wands and the King of Pentacles in the reverse. So, right. This is the Four of Pentacles. Like, this, <laughs> like I feel like this, this person is keeping his money to himself. And he just wants... He wants the negative people to stay out it's like he's putting up a boundary he's possibly like 
I don't think that this person doesn't have money. I just feel like it because of some type of frustration and accusations and drama. Like the energy that the, that these people that try to... They always cross a boundary with this person. Where it's like, even if I have money, I wouldn't tell you. Even if I did have extra time, I would come over there. But I got to deal with this shit. So... That's why I don't come over there. Like, if I could come over there and not have to deal with this shit and you be giving me all this negative dark shit. It's like, it's something, the truth about it is this man, whoever this father is, the type of lifestyle that, because even the King of Pentacles in the reverse is someone that is like a criminal mastermind. Like, someone that gets their money in the streets and stuff like that. You know, so it's not that this person doesn't have money. But I feel like they might not have a lot of money because of, like, all of these, like, woman obligations. You know what I'm saying? And this person could be being secretive and they could be holding back and, and there could be some resentment there because they do have a new situation there. And it's like, I want to be able to not be bringing unnecessary burdens into a new situation. It's like, I, I pay my, I, I may want to say I pay my taxes. It's like, I pay my taxes. I pay my dues. I spend my time with my children or I try to, but every time I come over there, it's like, y'all give me all of this stress where it's like, I need to be secretive and I have to keep you guys at a safe distance. And unfortunately it is getting in. I feel like it is getting in the way with this person being a parent to their children because it's like, it's something about, accusations and them holding back on their money because it's like these bitches is money hungry and it's like they keep threatening this person with all of these fears i'm gonna do this i'm gonna do that like you ain't paying attention to us wake up answer the phone blah 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 you know what i'm saying and mm -mm. it's like y'all already went up in the court or doing whatever telling lies and this can also because like have y'all ever been in a situation where it's like some people go block you and get a restraining order and all that shit and then they'll still be harassing you just so you could come right over there and you know what i'm saying so that you could get locked up like people like intentionally trying to provoke you to get you incarcerated like that's what i'm getting it's like and it's like not holding up in a court of law because maybe you already have a bad background or something like that. And these people like know that it's like that's what I'm feeling. It's like that's what it has to this person is trying to keep these energies out of their fucking relationship. Whoever this new empress is, you know what I'm saying? And it's like I hope that she, I mean, if she is pregnant, it's like, oh, God, I hope that she know what type of energy comes along with this man because it's a lot of chaos and it's because of this person's paradigm where the hell they were back in the day when they were into the street life this is the type of energy that came with it with this type of drama and shit and now this person is finally figuring out like the truth to why his life is the way that it is and he you know he might have been feeling like he's been um at getting the, the the unfair end of the stick to a lot of things but it's because of the lifestyle that you kept you know what i'm saying so you want the street life that's what ratchet hoes and baby mamas and all that drama that's that's what comes with it you know what i'm saying and now he's like i need that shit to be kept out of my house do you understand no y'all bitches don't need to know what i have none of that shit y'all know i'm keeping y'all hoes at bay just let me know when i can come um, pick my children up and just shut the fuck up and just let me get my kids and go you know what I'm like that's what it is right there what is this denying the bonds it's like i'm tired of you know it's like I'm tired of having to defend myself. But at the same time, I don't have any problem with getting up and having to defend myself. Again, I know that, you know, one of these days, one of y'all bitches is just going to, it's like find out. It's ever find out that this father is starting something new with this new woman. And, you know, that's why they're not trying to play this position with you and everything. It's like. I just want to rest. It's like it's like this person just wants to rest and wants to be able to chill and I, and it's like 
I don't want to be responsible for you or you. I want to be responsible for my children. And it's like, I, it, it, it's, it's, I feel like somebody is tired. Yeah, it's, it's the king of cups. But you just see how exhausted he looks. It's just like, I just want to grow up in peace. Does that make sense? Can I just grow up in peace? Can I just have... Because do you even see how... You even see how whoever this woman is, you see how he got her behind and this child is behind. I don't know if... And you see just him and his dog. Whoever this is definitely has animals. It's something about this child and this woman not being shy. I feel like this man is like hiding a woman and a child. I don't know if he is back with one of his children's mother and starting something all new or no, I really don't think so. I feel like this is someone, I feel like this is something new. And it's like, it's a shame that I have to protect them like this. And I should not have to shield them like this where I can't be out and, and, and it, it, it's because it's going to cause drama. And that's like, that is really, really sad. That is really, really sad. And I feel like he's doing what he needs to do in the situation. Do you understand what I'm saying? Give me guidance over here with this. Okay. What is this? It's the high priestess in the reverse. So the high priestess in the reverse. This is basically, yeah, it's like exposed secrets. Um, it's exposed secrets. So, I mean, you already know that they're going to find out about this. And then, and then what is this? This is the five of wands. It's going to cause this chaos. It's going to cause this chaos. But again, it's like, here's the Capricorn. They done turned it to the Phoenix. And it's like, listen, I done told you, don't come over here with this bullshit. I am not trying to be sitting up here. Like, we not about to be doing all this shit. Ain't nobody about to be competing and none of that shit. Ain't nothing to compete for. It's like, that's my empress. Y'all is over the fuck there. Like, I'm not about to keep playing with y'all or something. It's like, this person is... I feel like this person has had a fucking enough of this drama and this story. It's like, can I grow up in peace? It's like, what the fuck is y'all problem? Give me guidance about this eight of wands. And it could be that these women are just barking at them and then they're not getting the fair judgment that they're getting. And this man is having to run down on them and just be like serious. Like, listen, I told y'all, like, don't make me block you. Don't make me block you. Like, I don't give a fuck what y'all barking, all of this bullshit. I, this is so, so told me that and blah, say this, 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 that. I don't care. Don't come over here asking, like, I don't care. Like, I don't care. Like, I'm about to block y'all. Like, for real, it's like a lot of drama. And it's like, y'all not going to get what y'all expecting from me no more. I don't do that shit no more. Listen, the page of cups in the reverse. Like, it's no love, love. It's no love. There's no love lost. It just ain't no love at all. Listen, the love is in the reverse. So, it's like. This person is going to communicate with them like maybe I might have cheated with y'all before we was doing this. We was doing that. But like I don't want to do that no more. I don't want to do that no more. And that's what the that's what the the the, the moon is. These people simple like these people simple as fuck. And then you got the Queen of Pentacles at the bottom. It's like this person is looking for someone that is like them. Like he's just trying to. It seems to me like this is someone that's just trying to be responsible. And finally found a woman that they kind of like want to just settle down with. And really. It's just look inside yourself. Examine what is causing you to feel this way.
It says soulmate. Your soulmate is already with you in spirit. Believe this and it will manifest physically. Give me one more. My sister one already flipped over. Yeah. It says beware of what you are projecting. For the qualities you admire in one another are qualities you both possess equally. So the qualities that you don't like are also a reflection of your own. So, y'all get that? Like I told you, like the people from this person's past that I feel that is driving them crazy right now. It's something about, I don't even know if someone has cheated with these people in the past. And it's like they're threatening to expose the secrets or something like that. Like the high priestess in the reverse and everything like that. The moon. Um, the lovers, someone not expressing love, that is especially not to no third party like relationship or no situation that is that is they don't feel like a real emotional connection to when they got some soulmate energy here, like on some for real shit. Give me some guidance right here. Give me one card right off the top. Get him some guidance in this situation. Void. <sighs> so this whole thing about this projecting in this void. And again, it says, beware of what you are projecting. For the qualities you admire in one another are qualities you both possess equally. So, the qualities that you don't like are also your own reflections. So, I feel like at one point in time in this person's life, this person was just dealing with anything. You know what I'm saying? Like... Living the street life, just just doing because it was a reflection of who they were at that time, trying to fill a void. You know what I'm saying? Listen, you was just out there just doing you. You know what I'm saying? And might have ended up having some some look. It says stop, embrace winter, a uh, great cosmic room. So it's like this person was just. Rolling around in the dark, let's just trying to find something to fill a void at that time. And it's like now that this person is like trying to elevate, and it can just easily happen like that. Someone can come into their life, and just like that, they found the soul partner, someone that really made them want to step up and be a good man and be a good father, and somebody that made them elevate and want to be good. For their self to be good for them as well, but for their self first. You know what I'm saying? Like a lot of people can't come through and push that change in somebody. You know what I'm saying? And you could just meet them and just like that. You know what I'm saying? You can have that soul growth and you can it could trigger someone to elevate like that. And they don't wanna interact and in, in, you know what I'm saying? Like they actually do really wanna do right this time. They don't wanna cheat no more. They don't wanna, you know what I'm saying? They actually wanna be a good father. You know? Cause maybe they're recognizing that. The type of drama like that shit was stressful. Like they don't want to deal with that shit. And it's like the only reason why these people act like that is because I let them act like that. And that, that was what I was. That's where I was at my life at that time. Look, there you go. There you go gentlemen. What is it? The ring in a reverse. Nah, committal. Clock tower. That means standards. You know what I'm saying? Like, really valuing your time and having a certain standards and a certain quality and being thoughtful and, you know, um, strategic in regards to your value and, and, and what value is. You know what I'm saying? Having a separation. You know what I'm saying? Like, what is this? The mice, the rodents, the rats, 
Mice represents theft. It represents worries. It represents conflict. It represents confusion, lies, gossip, you know, something gnawing at you, eating away at you. You know what I'm saying? Stress, anxiety. You know what I'm saying? So, and like I said, scavengers. Scavengers. So, like, this man was, like, he was already non-committal. You know what I'm saying? So, it wasn't like he was trying to spend time with people of whole and high value. He was fucking with little scavengers, little street rats. Because he was hanging in the streets. He was just trying to fill a void real quick. He throw him a little cheese. They come around. You know what I'm saying? This, this, and that. You know? And right now, I feel like the time is up for that. With the sickle, this person is trying to cut out that energy. This person is trying to completely cut all of that he don't want no scavenger ass energy around him. He's completely bleaching his whole environment. Complete cleanliness is the next thing to godliness. He is cleaning up all of that shit because he wants to grow new seeds. You know what I'm saying? And he wants to sow new seeds. So you got to cut out all of that shit from yesterday and plant and till the land and plant new seeds. And that's what this person is trying to do. It's like, I don't want to fill the void no more. With no more street rats. You know what I'm saying? Like, this was a person. And I'm telling you, this person was not committal. Was definitely not committal. But that's why he... That's... That's <laughs> that's why he was dealing with the type of people that he was dealing with. Let's get the floor. And we're about to hear y'all. What do we got to do? What do we got to do? Yeah, I don't feel like this person wants to do this no more. Yeah, this person is enjoying their life, cheerfulness. This person is like really living a happy life with whoever. This person is like celebrating really in a happy spirit. I feel like that just has to be. Listen, the soldier, he's protecting himself from like any type of stress or sickness because... Ding, ding he's good he's good he's good and there can I mean well you seen it mm -hmm. anyway I, I feel like he's protecting himself from having to deal with any type of stress what is this right here this is the sweetheart message in the reverse. So again, I don't, and you see she's sitting there reading some messages. So there is someone that this person is no longer extending itself to like that. Listen, the scholar, this person has learned their lesson. This person is trying to vibrate. Listen, no reunion. Reunion in the reverse. No coming to this house. No more house calls. This person is with their soulmate. This person is really no longer trying to fill a void. I don't care what type of rumor, what type of gossip. It's like people could be trying to... It's like he's trying to protect this new person, um, this empress, from all of the battles and all of that bullshit. Because it's like these people are going to try to come and cloud his name and try to tell him how much of a fucked up person he was because he was a fucked up person to them. And it's like, yeah, because I... Y'all some little street rats and I was in the streets doing street shit. So like she not like that. This is someone that I had to educate myself and I had to vibrate harder to be with her and to be able to sit at this table. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like this person might be trying to clean himself up so he can go sit at the table at, at this person. Mama house and shit. You know what I'm saying? Shit, I did use all the decks for y'all. That's what's up though. Because this shit is like juicy. So what is this saying? The queen, the queen of clubs. Again, that's like the queen of pentacles. It says, curtsy while you're thinking what to say. It saves time. So the queen of clubs is someone that, like I said, um, and then this is the seven, this is the seven of clubs. You see how the person is sticking his tongue back at whoever that was in the past I don't even know what the fuck type of gibberish this person is saying, but whatever. You know what I'm saying? I'm not even going to try to repeat it. It seems to me with the seven of, uh, the seven of clubs, the seven of clubs is someone that 
realizes that they might be in a little difficult situation in regards to a work environment and they're realizing that they're having to put a lot of effort in regards to resolving it and making it, you know, better for everyone involved a little bit because if, if they don't, things can like turn really sour and it's not worth it. You know what I'm saying? If you recognize it's a problem, you need to put the energy into fixing it. You know what I'm saying? And this queen of clubs is telling them, listen, think, what does it say? Curtsy while you're thinking what to say, it saves time. So it's like, you know, while you're making your little bow or your little introduction or whatever, whatever it is, like really think what you're about to say in regards to these people. Like, don't be turning your head back, making fun of, like, don't taunt them. You know what I'm saying? Because you're only going to make matters worse. Like, do whatever it is that you need to do to make matters better, to kind of resolve the issue with the five of hearts right here. This represents the feminine energy. It says, oh, Tiger Lily, I wish you could talk. So... What that is basically saying is Alice is a human being looking at a flower saying, oh, it's Tiger Lily. I wish you could talk. So this is something so different, so odd. It's like an odd creature to this person because I really do feel like whoever this man was used to dealing with street rats because he used to be on street shit. So whoever this woman is, she's very frilly. She's very soft. She's very dainty. She likes to wear a lot of pinks and a lot of makeup and furs. And like, she's like one of those type of like very prissy, cutesy, cutesy girls. I feel like these other girls are street rats. They're rough around the edges so it's like at one point in time whoever this man was wished that they could talk to a woman like this but it, I feel like this woman was outside of this person's lead this person had to elevate themselves this is like the divine feminine card the five of hearts do you understand what I'm saying so you see these flying pigs look I'll look you you get away when pigs fly bitch the pigs is flying bitch like whatever pull uh all uh. it's like they want like whoever this person is wants to stick their tongue <laughs> in taunt but it's like knowing better you know what I'm saying knowing better you know what I'm saying you're going you're moving to better you're cheerful you're good you know that you you know the truth you know what I'm saying this is the Eight of Hearts. The Eight of Hearts represents someone finding someone that they are. Hold on. It represents someone that they have very fine, familiar taste. So that's saying, like, even if you is a street dude or whatever, you always had, like, a taste for fine arts going to, like, Going to go see little stage plays and traveling, going on vacations. You always got like some little key pieces in your closet shit. He might even had a fur coat too. You know what I'm saying? Back in the day when he was hustling, making money. Like someone that likes fine dining. Someone that just likes, you know, it's like they have a lot of things in common. And it's mutual love. It's mutual affection. Like I feel very comfortable with you. I feel like I can let my hair down. I feel like I can just tell you the truth about everything about myself and just like kind of bit. It's like, you know, when you just come home and you just lay up in, in your woman's chest and you just tell her about your day and she just playing your hair and y'all just like, you know, like your girl or your man is your best friend. Like that's what the eight of hearts mean. He said, old one will hardly suppose that your eye was as steady as ever. It's like, who would have ever thought that my eye was as steady as ever to be able to, like, catch someone like you. You know what I'm saying? It could be, like, off of, like, love at first type, uh, uh, sight type of shit. And then this is the six of spades. The six of spades represents the death card. This means death creates new beginnings for the better. And it says there's a reason they're called lessons because they lessen from day to day. All of this stuff was a lesson for you. You were creating children or, you know, it seemed like average. you ever you were creating children. You're the father. You know what I'm saying? And you were dealing with a whole bunch of bitches with street rap potential. You know what I'm saying? And it was because you were filling a void and 
that was a lifestyle that you were living at that time, but now you're trying to keep certain shit out. You trying to keep that negative. Listen, that type of lifestyle that, and all that energy that came with that lifestyle. You look at that shit like that shit ain't good no more. I don't want that shit nowhere near my new environment, this new home, my new relationship. I don't want none of that shit. I, my, my, I, it's no void to be filled anymore. Like, I got it. You understand the two of diamonds. Making a decision, making a choice. Drink the poison and not drink the poison. I choose not to. You know what I'm saying? Like, I know better now. I know better. Like, I know better. Drink me. Oh, what a curious fe feeling. Nigga, oh, so listen. I done drunk the poison before. I done drunk it before. And I am going to read y'all what those two cards mean. And then we getting up out of here. I'm going to read the two of diamonds. The two of diamonds means intellectual exchanges, financial partnerships, the small money card, a payment made or received, written correspondence, financial news, a statement or bill, insurance paper, papers, a written report, independence, a fertile imagination, a writer, a journalist, financial help or loan, the stomach, the food, the kitchen. Do you understand? All right. And then the spades the six of spades traditionally a card of completion the end of one phase and the beginning of the next a permanent ending a situation or relationship that has run its course and needs to let go releasing what no longer serves parting ways moving on to something new making progress a moving force a move to a new residence a mode of transportation a car a truck a bus or a train do you see what i'm saying so, again, there's, like, going to be blocked. There's something about someone not being able, with no reunion, no access to a house. You know, I learned better. I learned to stop communicating with these motherfuckers like that because it just makes me fucking sick. Like, these people drive me sick. It's like these, it's like, people stressing them out towards a point they don't even want to get out of bed you know what i'm saying it's like that shit is like driving me crazy and i'm learning to protect myself i'm learning to protect myself lesson in myself i don't want to create no more conflict there ain't no love there we don't love each other so why am i going to continue fucking you and just like no i'm not going to continue fucking up my relationships like that i'm not going to do it but anyway shout out to all y'all that met y'all soulmate and y'all trying to keep all that fuck shit out your home I got me a good wife. I got me a good man. I'm happy. I found my soulmate. I need y'all to stay the fuck away from my home, bitch. That part. Okay? So I love you guys. Thank you for loving yourself. And look inside yourself and examine why you're feeling this way. And the truth is, is because these motherfuckers are, you hate them that much because they are a reflection of your past. And you're not trying to live in your past no more. And every time you look at these motherfuckers, it's like I can't even believe I was out there in the gutter fucking around with these little street rats like that. But I was because I wasn't committed and I didn't give a fuck about what I was doing. And these was like little, little <laughs> you know? So, sometimes make permanent decisions with temporary satisfaction, y'all. Anyway, I love you guys. Thank you for loving yourself. If this resonated, hit the like button. Peace.